what happened. You're now a proud member of the Cornish Pirates. Yes. You must yes, be buzzing. How did you end up at Cornish Pirates? Because you were telling me about it was a bit of a whirlwind there. So you decided that Wasp wasn't the place for you and you thought, well, yeah. you, tell, you, you, you tell me the story. Tell me the story you want to tell me of how it went. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, uh, things ended at Wasps and I, yeah, I put it this way, it ended pretty late. Yeah. So I, I didn't have um, much to go off. Mm-hmm. Um, I'd not played the amount of games I wanted to, put it that way. And um, I was left kind of with not much game time, not a lot of highlights and told very late that I wasn't going to be uh, continuing on with Wasps. And obviously yeah. that's... That is just, um, unfortunately, that is just professional sport. Yeah. It's, brutal. It's, the way, it's the way it is. You've got to get used to it. Um, so, at the time, that was that was my that was my um, that was my reality, and I had to get pretty uh, on board with the fact that I didn't think I had a job in yeah. game rugby. So, obviously, um, I've said already that I'm doing law school online part time. Well. You know, before at the end of the season, I thought I was going to be doing that full time at mm-hmm. uh, law school in Waterloo, and I'd have to look for a part time job on the side and possibly try and play some rugby uh, part time and try and keep the dream alive. But you kind of think to yourself that because of the intensity of law school, and that it was going to be a kind of a crash course to get through my PGDL, my postgraduate diploma in law. Yeah. I wouldn't have time to play rugby and have a job on the side that pays me so I can actually, you know, maybe find a little flat or house share or whatever. So, mm-hmm. you know, the dream was the rugby was, you know, it was looking kind of, you know, it was squeaky. On the back burner, yeah. Back burn, right? yeah. Massively. So, you know, on the back burner, or I was having, you know, I was having real genuine thoughts that maybe, maybe this isn't for me. Maybe it's just, maybe rugby's just not going to pan out. And unfortunately, mm-hmm. I'm going to be that guy in the pub that said, um, you know, I would have been that if it, this, if it wasn't for this and wasn't for that. But I was determined that wasn't going to be the case. So, mm-hmm. um, I got a message from obviously Matt Jess, who's obviously a friend of ours and, uh, one of, one of the greatest people we've ever met, I think it's safe exactly, to say. Yeah. He's, you know, an ambassador for blokes. He's a brilliant, brilliant man. And uh, he kind of messaged me out. So obviously, before then, I had lots of talks with um, clubs, championship, a few premiership, and it, they all just fizzled out before that. Yeah. So that's, that's why I was coming to the realisation that maybe I wasn't going to have a club and I just have to get on with my life. Um, and luckily for me, I, had a, I have a degree. So I was going mm-hmm. into law. So luckily, I had something to fall back on. Um, so I got a text from Matt Jess who kind of said like I'm assuming you have a club but if you don't you know maybe you might want to come to the Cornish Pirates I messaged him saying I haven't got a club and, and I'd, I'd love to go to the Cornish Pirates <laughs> I'd, I'd be very interested in having a look at or talking about the Cornish Pirates straight away that that, that day he's given me a call um, and um, we discussed it he's kind of given me his idea of it what they want their vision um and said and suggested that you know we chat on like a zoom call with gavin cattle who's one of the head coaches at uh Cornish mm-hmm. Park. at the time i so now and, and at the time i didn't have an agent so obviously i parted ways my agent because i think i thought i didn't need one because i'm not a professional rugby player anymore so yeah <laughs> um, so i had a zoom call with gavin gavin and uh matt jess was there and uh, I, I, you know, Matt Gavin was brilliant. He's a brilliant bloke himself, and you know, and uh, I've heard a lot of good things from people uh, about the Cornish parts and about the coaching staff. So, the, uh, the only thing that was, this is the world with. So, before then, when when Matt got hold of me, I was like, he asked me about it, and I said I'm interested, and we had a few conversations, and I said to him, and he said, and when it started to heat up, yeah. I was going, I was going on a lad's holiday. So I had to, uh, where, where are we talking? Are we talking like proper Ibiza ocean? No, 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 no. So this was this was when the COVID was like in July, I think it was July or something. So it was it All was right. like June, June. So I was like Brighton. We went to Brighton <laughs> like four Wait, nights. Brighton's quite hip and trendy, from what I see. Yeah. I mean, I'm I'm rural it's Scotland, brilliant. so but... I know. it was brilliant. No, hip and trendy. It was really cool, vibrant, and uh, busy, and you know. Uh, allowed us to go to like the nightclub, but the nightclubs were like tables, so it was like, nightclub music and dark and brilliant. I'm not <laughs> giving out my night my nights out there, but um, so I kind of messaged him and said like, 
by the way, Matt, I'm on a lad's holiday. Like, just, I'm going to be on a lad's holiday for like four days, four nights. Uh, like, I probably won't text you at midnight on, <laughs> on my nights out, Steve, and be like, yes, I was, you know what I mean? So, um, you know, and we actually did speak while I was out on my lad's holiday, and I didn't tell the boys anything. So, like, yeah. I was like, at, like, at a party. Were you, were, you, were you with mates from home or were you with like mates from Wasps? Well, mate, mates from Wasps. I was with uh, Tim Cardle, Will Porter, and Cam Anderson. And we meant to go with like a few other lads, one of them being yeah. Top Lewis. And then he like messaged us a couple of days before the lads on this. I saw I've been called up to England. We're like, all right, see you later. Would you, <laughs> what would you rather be? England have all lads holidays. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. So yeah, battered um, for 18 minutes before just yeah, battered the beers for 18 minutes. We were like, don't speak to us again. You didn't come to the lads holiday. But yeah. <laughs> Um, so yeah, so there was a few times where like I'd be at a beer in hand at a pub, yeah. Um, I'd get a call from Matt Jess or like a message from Matt Jess, I'd be like out oh, on the phone or like you know, speaking, and the lads were like, What's you getting on this phone for? Like, so um, they, they knew something, thought, yeah. they, they probably knew thought you were phoning the missus or something, yeah, exactly. So I got <laughs> home, exactly. So I got home from the lads' holiday, <laughs> and uh, that's when I had my Zoom call with Gavin and, and Matt. and mm. I kind of said, you know, because I was initially kind of one of the things in the negotiations, I didn't have an agent at the time. Uh, God, I said, I, I haven't got a plan. I can't find a one, like a one bed, one bed flat in Penzance because yeah. everything was in summer, Cornwall, beautiful. Everyone renting them out as Airbnbs and there was like one left. So Gavin said to me like, why don't you come down and have a look at this place um, that we've got or one of the lads owns that, you know, he gives out, rents out to boys. Um, why don't you come down this week? And I was like, Literally just come back from Brighton, yeah. yeah. And he like, wants me to come down to Cornwall, and he's like, "By the way, don't come on a Friday because that's obviously when the traffic's going to hit." Yeah. yeah, and it was like Wednesday, <laughs> so I was like, uh, "So I just literally was like, okay, yeah, I'm coming." So I went. That it was a Tuesday, so like I said to my dad, like, my old man, who wanted to come with, I said, "We need to go down to Cornwall this week and before Friday." <laughs> so <laughs> we're like, well, "We'll leave tomorrow then." So. Yeah. We got the, got in the car, drove down. We met by um, met by Gav and shown around the house. It's beautiful, a great view, which I showed you earlier. Oh, uh, mate, it's, you'll have to post the picture on the gram that people can see when it comes out because it's, yeah. it's blissful. Like, yeah, <laughs> it's pretty cool. So, um, kind of was you know kept my poker face because obviously I have an agent at the time, so I was trying to be like. Um, Cam Campbell has done this a million times before. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, so and then we got shown around the Mene Field, which is obviously a famous. Cornish part is famous. Uh, yeah, yeah. Loved it and kind of uh, over a coffee came to an agreement on on a contract which you have to do at this level. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, and then on by th- I was there on the Wednesday. I remember, and then Thursday I signed. And I remember on the Wednesday, you know, I said, I see, you said like obviously you're entitled to your art, your rugby players association five weeks off. So what you've got like three weeks left. And I said, no, no, I want to be there for day one of pre-season. I want to meet the boys. I want to graph with the boys. Yeah. Um, I thought that was the right thing to do. And I still think it was. But he said, no, absolutely. Was, but he said it was, this was Wednesday. And he said, oh, brilliant. Training starts on Monday. Bollocks. <laughs> yeah. was, oh, God. You're, still ner- you're still nursing a three-day hangover from the last yeah, I, was, I, was, I, was, I was like 18 days on the piss. So I was like, yeah. oh, God. Yeah, yeah, that sounds fine. That sounds fine. So got back on. So. On the Thursday, I'd signed. Yeah. Drove back on the Thursday, mm-hmm. and then left. Came back up on the Sunday with all my belongings and moved in. And then I was training on Monday. You're a pirate. I'm a pirate. Yeah. So it's pretty, pretty like a whirlwind kind of week. Sounds so, straightforward like, when you put it like that. Speak yeah, to somebody well, on Monday, signed by Friday. Yeah, it does. So <laughs> trust me, usually negotiations are not done by the player, and, and it's not, and it's not kind of strong like that short and easy. Yeah. But. Uh, they were brilliant. Uh, Gavin was brilliant. Matt, uh, brilliant. I can't thank Matt enough for thinking of me 